hey 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 it's your girl bria and i'm back boo how you doing how you been okay anyways let's focus all right so today i'm gonna work on a piece called lippy and i'm just gonna give you a quick like overview of what i'm doing while i'm doing it but i don't think i'm gonna talk too much i'm just gonna kind of let my hands do the talking today but for starters right now i'm throwing this super pretty blue on the background and it's gonna really pop with these clouds which you're about to see in like two there we go yep and that pink really just stands out on top of that blue and i love that now i'm painting the background first because when you have objects in front of something else is just it just makes more sense to do them last and that may not make sense i might evaluate that later on in another video comment and let me know if you want me to get a little bit more specific with my techniques and why but i'm just gonna throw a little razzle dazzle in this video and try to keep you updated so if you have any questions, don't forget to comment and then like and subscribe so that you can find the answers to them. Anywho, back to business. Now that I've gotten the background done for the most part, I'm going to start working on my girl here who's taking a nice, beautiful nap. Isn't that nice? That's just uh, such a mood, right? Totally. But this is where my imagination comes back into play because you thought she was going to be a normal color girl? lol psych this is my channel this is my art and i'm not normal so neither is my art therefore she's gonna be blue just like the background i like that if y'all don't like it then tell me in the comments and we can discuss something later anywho this part was super hard though i'm not even gonna lie because how many people do you know that are blue so like what can you really base that off of so it really just goes back to understanding how light hits objects and trying your best to make it make sense to the eye now i am no professional at that trust me i do my best my best most of the time is enough to get the point across and eventually it'll be more than enough but until then i'm gonna keep doing my best and i suggest everyone do that anywho that's not the point so i got some shadows in there i got some lights in there and that's just typical drawing stuff but Earlier, I said I wasn't going to talk over this whole video, so I think I'm just going to let you guys kind of figure out the rest. And I'll drop in whenever I feel like I need to describe or explain something that's going on. Thank you guys for watching. It's Bria here, baby. And like and subscribe. So I tried this new technique for the hair. Instead of just drawing a bunch of lines like normal, I put a bunch of dots there, as you can see, and just pulled it right on down. That came out so well. I don't know if that'll work well again in the future, but I think I kind of got lucky. But I'd suggest you guys give it a try once or twice. One thing about painting is you really got to understand that it's okay to make mistakes. A lot of people freak out and just cannot handle the idea of painting because they don't understand that you can fix it. Or maybe it's just something that needs to stay there. Like, I ended up starting doing these wings and I just was not feeling the green. I felt like they looked like fairies and that's okay. I just went, put some white over it and went on about my day. Any other time you typically could just tweak it and it's alright. Don't stress. Just try, try again. I promise you, you'll get there.